Lee Trevino, at the top of his form, ran into Jack Nicholas in the 1970 final. Two great and seasoned players squaring off. And to see us through it was the transoceanic commentator, Ben Wright. These men are both 30. Trevino, a Mexican born in Dallas, and Nicholas born in Columbus, Ohio. But there the similarity ends. Nicholas hits the ball with a very high trajectory, a Trevino with a very low one, and their styles are entirely different. And that one's going slightly left. Perfect position, though, at the top of the hill. Very good drive indeed. And now Nicholas. That's a tremendous first hit from Nicholas. Probably halfway down the hill, I would think, and the battle is on. Two more enormous drives, and then a, a tremendous uh, second shot by Trevino. Probably a four iron. But Trevino with a putt of seven feet straight and downhill for an eagle to go one up again. No, it came the other way, and a beautiful eagle for Lee Trevino, who goes one up again after four holes. There has been quite a quite sensational start to this final. After four holes, Trevino is three under par and only one up. Having birdied the first hole, both men birdied the second, two beautiful twos, Nicholas a gimme putt of 18 inches, and then Nicholas made par four at the third, and then uh, a tremendous eagle by Trevino at the fourth has put him one up again. And now Nicholas really deep in trouble at the par 5, 15th hole. He's in the trees on the right-hand side of the fairway, the wrong side of the fairway, and uh, can do no more than hack out his ball, which he has done, into the bunker on the right and out again. Well, there's a lucky break, but he still has no clear shot of the pin, and he now has to play his third shot to a green that slopes rather fiercely away from him. Nicholas has really played one there. He's hit the green with a beautiful shot. So with Trevino sitting pretty for a birdie four here at the 15th, Nicholas has quite a job on to hold his putt. And he's got it! My goodness, that could be a really vital putt by the end of the afternoon. Nicholas going to the 16th with probably an eight or nine iron. Straight at the stick. Oh, beauty. Biting in behind the hole and coming back towards it. Fine shot. And so Nicholas, with a putt of five and a half feet, to go two up. He's made it, and Nicholas goes six under par at the 16th hole, and two up with another birdie at birdie three. Superb three-wood shot by Nicholas, who's really got his tail up now. At the 17th hole, has just found the front edge of the green. And this at a hole 555 yards long. Trevino, also perfectly capable of hitting the green, has done so. Just on the front edge, like Nicholas, and just a yard further on. Nicholas away, a part of some 20 yards that will fall to his right, and the whole green falls to the back here. A most magnificent putt by Nicholas to the very edge of the hole for a certain birdie four, and that puts Nicholas, who is really going strong now, uh, seven under par for the round. 18th tee, Nicholas now three up. Once again, two marvellous tee shots straight down the middle of the last fairway. And so we come to the last green with Nicholas three up, having won the 13th, 16th and 17th holes. And he needs here a four for 33 in. He was 33 out and this represents a score of eight under par, par being 74 here. Missing 
but a much better looking putt than many of the putts he's hit on this inward half when his golf has become a little ragged. So Nicholas has a putt of almost the same distance. It just gets away from him, but that is a birdie for Jack Nicholas, who is round in 66 to Trevino's 69. He's missed the green at the 19th hole on the right, and he's in the deep grass just beyond the collar that encircles the green, off which you can normally putt. And he's only got some six or seven yards between him and the hole in which to stop the ball from a potentially flying lie. So Trevino's got to get this one close. Nicholas, monumentally calm. Trevino, in repose. Nicholas has hit much the same poor tee shot here at the seventh. Uh, you have a blind second shot over the trees. Well, that's one way of doing it. Nicholas has hit his second shot so big that it's gone straight into the crowd, hit someone and bounced clean back onto the green. A fantastically lucky break. Well, Nicholas has had the decency to go into the crowd and shake hands with the man he hit with his second shot. The ball rebounding onto the green. Birdie's a birdie, but that one was really a fortuitous one for Jack Nicholas, who goes four up the 29th hole. Oh, oh, versus Trevino. Nicholas three up. Oh, and uh, Nicholas has gone far too far left here. He used the three wood this morning for reasons that were uh, impossible to understand. And sure enough, Nicholas's path into the green here is masked by the trees on the left. And he's gonna get his, gonna have to get his ball up quite quickly. He's got the ball up very quickly, Nicholas, but I think he's hit it big. Yes, my word, he's, uh, he's carried everything this time and gone straight through the crowd. Instead of coming back off the crowd, he's gone through the green. He's deep in the heather. Well, that was the alternative to getting well past the hole. Not being firm enough through the heather, which of course is the most difficult stuff apart from gorse to play out of. This ball will swing quite violently left. But uh, he hasn't even reached the green, and uh, with the gesture of the thumb, he signals Trevino through to the next hole. And so, with five holes to play, Nicholas's lead is cut dramatically by Lee Trevino to two holes. Well, there you see, by the hole, oh, he's just removed it, Lee Trevino's ball, no more than a yard from this hole, the short 14th, or the 32nd, and Trevino has clipped back Nicholas's lead of five at the last turn to two by winning three of the last four holes. 15th tee, and Trevino only one down now. Trevino away from the left-hand side of the 15th fairway, the 33rd hole. And he's fired a beautiful stroke in there. Well, Nicholas has surpassed himself. He's hit a towering, I would imagine, a four-iron shot. Possibly a three with a great high trajectory, giving himself a chance of stopping on this green that slopes so sharply away from the players. Trevino 
putting for an eagle. And he's pretty furious with himself. He's hit a real bad one there. So, Jack Nicholas, putting for his eagle. He got it. What a way to stop the rot. A tremendous eagle for Jack Nicholas. I can't think of a more perfect way of doing the job. The 16th hole, or 34th. Never left the stick, and uh, perhaps not getting as, quite as far up as he would have liked. Trevino going with a little punch nine iron here. And it's a good one. Screwed a little left on landing there with all the spin and bite he gets on the ball. But it's a very good stroke. Nicholas to putt first, and of course, if he held this and Trevino were to miss, the match would be all over. He aimed, he aimed it left and it stayed there. Trevino picks it up, flicks it away to his caddy, par four for Jack Nicklaus. And so Trevino now has his chance from 12 feet to get Nicklaus back to one again. Trevino runs away around the green. What a tremendous putt. A birdie free and back to one up for Nicholas with two holes to play. 35th hole and Trevino has virtually run to the tee. No, he's hooked it. He's hooked it a mile and it's out of bounds. The ball's taken a wicked bounce to the left off the high side of the fairway and kicked right into the gardens. Clear out of bounds. What a tragedy. And so Nicholas immediately chokes down to an iron to keep the ball in play at all costs. And it's safe. Trevino, too, takes an iron, second time up. But now he's played three shots. And what a dramatic turn this astonishing match has taken. Nicholas plays up the fairway with a safe, second shot with iron as well. Well, Trevino came down the fairway, looked over the hedge just to make absolutely certain sure that his ball was indeed out of bounds in the garden, and now he's playing his uh, fourth shot from the deep rough to the right of the fairway with virtually no chance of survival. In fact, he can only hack his ball out into the center of the fairway and is still way behind Nicholas, who has played two of the most uh, conservative uh, iron shots here, which is all he has to do, keep the ball in play. So Trevino now, doomed to defeat, a most tragic anticlimax to a wonderful comeback, the likes of which have seldom been seen. Poor Willie Aitchison, Trevino's caddy from Glasgow, he's seen Lee play magnificently all week, seen him haul back Nicholas on this afternoon round, and now he can't quite keep the tears back. Five shots is on the left-hand edge of the green, and Nicholas is uh, the winner, bar a rush of blood. And uh, anybody who knows Nicholas knows that that is extremely unlikely. So Trevino, with his sixth shot, gave the ball and the hole every chance, and shakes Jack Nicholas by the hand. And so Nicholas is the winner. Jack Nicholas, the winner of the seventh World Match Play Championship by two and one after perhaps the most historic match in the history of an already considerable goal.